What, what question uh, does Lord Keane think you were answering at the UQ last week? Well, I've spoken to Lord Keane, and I have to say, in talking to Lord Keane, and looking at the specific question that uh, my, uh, my honourable friend um, asked me last week, he agrees the answer I gave is the correct answer. So Lord Keane was wrong? Well, as I say, I've spoken to Lord Keane, and I have to say, when he's looked at the specific question that I was asked last week, he's in agreement with me that the answer I gave was correct to the question I was given. And it does, as I say, that answer I gave reflects the legal advice, the government's legal advice, as was published. And as I said, I believe you as a committee had a copy of that from the Attorney General. Do you, do you think it's a little strange that the Advocate General of Scotland, Scotland's senior law officer, could, on such a sensitive issue, get it so wrong by claiming that you were wrong? I think if you look at what he said to the um, select committee yesterday, I appreciate he also was speaking on the floor of the House as well. But as I say, in that, in, in what he said on the floor of the House, um, and spoken to him, and now he's aware of the actual the specific question that I was asked by an honourable friend last week. I think mean, he's in agreement with me that the answer I gave was correct. If you look at what the Advocate General outlined to the select committee, it's entirely in line with the points I was making last week throughout the UQ, actually, um, and in line with the legal advice of the Attorney General. Yeah, I mean, I mean, call, call me old-fashioned if you will, but I, I rather had higher expectations of a Queen's Council in terms of um, accuracy. 